Known as the High Priestess of Soul, Nina Simone was a music icon, civil rights activist who united many with power of her voice. The music, uh, actually there's a movie musical out. It's called Soul Doctor. It's a tribute to her influence on the revival of Jewish music and the power of music to bring people together. It plays 600 select theaters for one day on June 13th, which is a very significant day in Lisa Simone's life. Lisa is the daughter of the great Nina Simone, and she's here with this very unique story. And as you, you know, you and Ron <laughs> Delsner, I love seeing this moment all together. He knew your mom. Of course, we played your mom's music in our house, and I'm a big fan of yours because you've been Thank on you. the stage on Broadway and off-Broadway for many years. What was it like putting together this, this tribute to your mom? Wonderful. Honestly, I'm still learning more and more about her I life in, manner, in a manner that continues to just be a thrill because this particular musical talks about her life before the civil rights, before she became the Nina Simone that many people revere and know about today. This is when she changed her name to Nina Simone, when she was still drinking milk at the bar and coming into the bar with gowns on and she was still really discovering who she was going to be as an artist after, after she was rejected from the Curtis Institute. So that's when she met Shlomo. And so for me to just be a part of this part of her life continues to just be a dream come true, really. So Ron alluded to that your mom did not have an easy life. Is that part of this? That's true. That's true. Up and down. Uh, she fought a lot of things along From the way. From racism, discrimination, the to Bible Belt, right? to becoming, wanting to be a classical pianist in the 1940s and 50s when you're raised in North Carolina. You know, so I mean, all of these subjects have been talked about a lot, but for this to be a subject that's filled with joy and possibility I love that. and inspiration and the fact that that aspect of her life can be highlighted at this time and continue to be an influence, that is what has me so happy right now. And to be a part of a project that concentrates on that, as well as not just the African-American community, but the Jewish community as well. Yeah, tell us a little fantastic. bit about that. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, the fact that they're French, I didn't even know that Shlomo was a friend of my mother's until I went to see this show in 2011. And I walked in very dubious, like ho-hum, another show with Nina Simone, and I walked out a believer. I cried more than once. Aww. The story, the characters, the music is just touching, and you will walk out knowing more than you did when you walked in. And so Rabbi Shlomo Karlbach was a friend of hers, and come to find out she actually recorded songs in Hebrew on one of her albums. Wow. <laughs> Wow. All right. We have a little clip from your musical movie. Uh, let's take a look right now. You came to my debut. Oh, my sister, I can't believe you really made it. The first black classical pianist at Carnegie Hall. I'm young, gifted, and black. And next week we're playing the Village Gate. What village? It's a club. A nightclub. You're going to open for me. You know I cannot sing in such a place. Mixed men and women, it isn't kosher. You're a rabbi. You'll make it kosher, baby. <laughs> There you go. Soul Doctor is the name of the movie musical. Uh, 600 select theaters on June 13th. You can get tickets at fathomevents.com. Exactly. And June 13th is very significant in your life. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Shall and we I talk think about for many that? of us. Well, June 15th was my last performance of Aida at the Palace Theater on Broadway, 2003, two months after my mother passed away. And I walked away from theater altogether. And for me to be returning now with this particular show on June 13th, 2023, it's pretty much 20 years to the day, is I just realized that the other day, and I just, you see my smile. I know, I'm so <laughs> happy It feels really for good you. to come back with this, thank you. By the way, you, you have the beautiful voice. I mean, what a beautiful gift from your mom. Well, thank you. Actually, uh, this year, my big band show is touring in Europe, and since it's the 20th anniversary of her passing, the theme is Lisa Simone, Keeper of the Flame, a daughter's tribute to her mother. Oh, 
I want to cry. So that's what's going on. I'm going to be knighted in France on the 6th of October. My mother was a mis musketeer, and now I'm going to be a knight. So I'm going to be Dame Lisa Simone, which I still am, uh, am absorbing. Right. And But at the same time, to just continue this legacy musically, to be writing my own compositions, to be carrying on the mantle that my mother started, and to be standing upon her shoulders, I couldn't be more thrilled to carry on this legacy from a place of joy Thank and you. pride. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Once again, you can get tickets. It's June 13th. Yes. Uh, you can get tickets at fathomevents.com. That's right. So nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Thank you, Thank and you. God bless your mom. <laughs>